tragic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. These continental... And then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we do. Stay out of trouble, or you answer to me. Swords and your back.
last night was... Foreigner, watch your step. Oh! of Bengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve.
Only your axe never crumbled. Ah. Will you help a man in need? Slanty eyes. Must be Zarakadian. Most humbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Tamaria and Tamaria? You sure? Not Novigrad? What? Why Novigrad? No, no, I come from Malibor and. Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met, but you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. But, but I assure you, I... All right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, mate. All of it, with, with interest. Just, please, don't, don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll... Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. You know, not in the mood for a rough rising today. My guts. That is... Hey there. <laughs> Not so fast. Take it easy.
Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. Jennifer of Bengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve.
Brings it to me. Wouldn't mind a look. We'll fix you soon, don't you, friend?
sam. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Blood hasn't even dried. Blood hasn't even dried. for a few feet around. A lot of it. Blood hasn't even dried.
Witcher, got an offer for you. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do. If you're willing to partner with me. Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Ganga Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Dianga Fret need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye. Quite the rogues they are. Three of them. And everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took the grave rob. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks he... No, haven't met him. If you do... Tr Doubt they'd try that with a... You never know with that lot. That one. Greetings, Watcher. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well. We'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills, and seen as coins needed to ready long ships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. Gotta start by searching for them. That'll take time, and drive up costs. Long as they don't soar too high. I can throw in a few crowns more, for the good of our lads. I let it stand. Deal. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank ye, Witcher. Ah, that one.
Come on. <laughs> Is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. 
The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious sea swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't! But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you, she's doing it for Ciri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. The mask of Urboros belongs to Skellige, and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. that unicorns damn it Yen. i saw the foglets i meant how they get here the power of the mask summoned them ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster fortunate he's here then he can jump right in try to tame it realize he won't let this pass oh i'll survive somehow what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You know I don't like it. Let it go. I just want to see what happened. Besides, you know there are things I'd rather not know about you. Let's go. Already found the first spot.
instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Magic explosion of some sort, so powerful that even the echo. It's dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ah! There'll be nothing. Held the other with powerful magic, then fled through a force. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermian must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So?
We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Vision, he went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Geralt, please move. Clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Art Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Bit hunt. The barely sprouted whiskers. They lie. And me, living and unharmed. Irish in glory. <sighs> Glory. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. Then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. 
They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the Saga of Ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We called to... And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our... Those who venture below. Morkvarg. Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked... Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisvial to... Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her... A curse? A monster? I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need- I understand. But I've told you to speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pil- He settled in Larvik. You'll find- A coward who will- That's why he did it. Craven and thus regain trial by ordeal. I do not mock you. Thanks for your I understand. I dislike it when foreigners custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are. You steal folks' kiddies. Is it true? Kneel before the goddess. Pay her homage. Hey, Geralt. Come back. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How, exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes.
one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shank! Not, not again! Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him, Light Prince. Craven trod carefully. What now?
Her suspicions proved true. Siri had appeared in Skellig. She'd arrived from another world together with a mass mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Siri too might have returned to Skellige. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it.
Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Prints lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I... We're looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise! Curse me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She fell!
Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some gnat. <clears throat> What's this? Did you undress me? Uh, I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm-hmm. And if my breasts needed smearing with fox tallow? Nay, nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honor. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. Help. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry. I shan't force you to stay. But the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine. That'll do. Thank you both very pish posh. There's no need. Now come. We gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? I'm surprised. Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Means your muscles are working. And main the string don't catch on your nose. Ah, I know. All right, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Let's go. I'm getting goose pimples. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? Is that a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It, 
It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off, but the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, hey, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the cones. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Overgrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skell's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skell? To be honest, I prefer women. Aye, now we see. The Skald sings true. Love bears many guises. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofoten groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Skjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
storms are coming. You gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Wh what But I asked her... But... You know what? Let's ride. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye. Me first. We don't have much time. But it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I go and... I can look after myself. What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go!
of that creature. Where is he? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell... Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth. Or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real. But it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. <laughs> 